Chris Whirlwind from TuneNet Studios, and we're back with another Wind Talks. So, in my last video, we talked about how it's not the end of the world just because these AI apps exist now. I talked about how we can actually use it to our benefit, use it to speed up our art processes and actually learn some drawing techniques and different things from it. I actually went ahead and started using some of these AI apps and was surprised by the results. On the far left, that's one of the characters that I made for the mental and physical health comic book slash VR video game that I'm making as an example of how to make educational art and other things that the AI can't do yet. And the other two on the right are from the app. It's called prequel. And these are only two. I actually generated like 10 of them. And what you can learn from that is like, there's different ways to draw folds. There's different ways to draw shadows and highlights. And, you know, even the way that they, their colors are more desaturated than my colors. But we'll talk more about this character later. Uh, first, we have to come up with the plot and storyline of this mental slash physical health book so let's go so the example that i'm gonna use is one called rising souls the reason why i named it that was is simple the souls of the sneakers rise up into an armor that basically gives the player powers this comic is going to be used just to illustrate the plot that i have for the video game and I'm gonna pitch that to a bunch of studios and see if we can create that. But for now, we can definitely create the comic book and I went ahead and did the first page. That's gonna be in some later videos. But right here, as you can see, the player does mental and physical health steps to unlock different parts of the armor. And as the players play in the video game, they can unlock these things and use these steps in reality because you actually have the headset on and the bodysuit and you know you're gonna be immersed in this experience some of these things i change later like i end up making the shoes the earth power and then the bottoms have the plant powers and i switch a couple of things up and that's why this step is very important so you could get all of these things out of the way and not just jump straight into the comic and make a whole bunch of mistakes and plot holes and all of that stuff later on so and for my character i don't have a name for it yet but if you guys come up with one send the suggestions i'll take it i'm just trying to come up with a style mixed with my style kill a kill one punch man anime and for his base form i tried to come up with like the most simplest design that I could, right? Like just his brown skin, dark purple eyes, eyebrows, hair. Well, you can't really see the hair here, but his hoodie, that's really it. Now we could get to the full body. As you can see on the left, I have the 25 steps that you have to do in order to unlock the eight different parts of the suit. On the right, I actually had a lot of fun designing this thing. I had to make something that both a guy and a girl could wear and it still look cool for both i also had to make sure that all of the colors matched each other and the different parts of the armor didn't conflict with each other so that comes from just years of me doing character design and fashion design and stuff all on my own almost every day <laughs> So now that I know how I want the character to look and we have the plot and everything, in the next video, we're gonna dive straight into page one. I'm Wynn from Tuned Studios. Peace.